guys, I hope you're all having a lovely winter holiday. I'm doing okay. I kind of caught a cold and oh my lord you guys, yesterday I sneezed and I just saw a whole new world on my tissue. So just, yeah, don't do that. Don't look at your tissue after you sneeze in it. It ain't pretty. Anywho, like I was saying, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to style your hijab with your berets or your berets with your hijab. Honestly, you can wear any hat you'd like with this hijab style, but for me, I like the beret. I feel like it's very winter-esque and I feel so fancy and chic or even on the days where I look like a little hobo I put this on and I'm just like boom I feel a million dollars so without further ado if you'd like to know how I do this hijab style then keep watching okay so for this hijab tutorial we only need a few things the first thing is an underscarf or a bonnet cap just to keep everything nice and in place I'm using a black one so it matches my black scarf the second thing you'll need is your black scarf I'm using a long black rectangle scarf from an eye collection as you can see this is quite sheer I think it's one of their Georgia chiffon mix scarf so it's quite light and nice however because it is sheer I am folding it in half I know right now it looks quite sheer but trust me once you wrap it around a few times you are good to go at the house the next thing you need is a straight hijab pin or a safety pin I'm only using one for this tutorial because trust me one is enough but if you want to use more feel free it's totally up to you what you feel comfortable with and last but not least you will need your magical beret I have this lovely black woolly one that I got from ASOS for around 12 pounds but to be honest you can get these berets anywhere like you can get them in like Asda Primark um like like Forever 21, like pretty much all stores are selling them now, especially because it's winter. So make sure you guys pick up some because they really do keep you warm in this winter weather. Anywho, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this hijab tutorial. So you want to start off with your underscarf on, of course, and then you want to get your rectangle hijab and you want to place it on your head like so. If you want to fold it like I have, you can for like a cleaner edge, but it's totally up to what you guys want. And what you can do is you can have one short side like so, and one really long side. It doesn't really matter which side you do this on, it's totally up to you and your preferences. So I have my short side and it kind of comes down like near my belly button. I always have the short side coming down to my belly button. I don't know why, that's just like my reference for me when I do my hijab. Anywho, so you're gonna get your hijab and you're just gonna frame it around your face how you like it. This part really isn't that important because we're not going to really pin it in place, but you can if you want to. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to get my beret and just shove it on really. Just pop it on like so. And you can style your beret however you like it. I know some people like having it like quite high like that so you get the full circle. Some people have it to a side. Some people like just sort of push the whole thing back. But what I like doing, sorry, I'm looking in the little viewfinder so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I like having it to a side. I don't know why that just, that just suits me. And once you've done that, we're going to deal with the long side of the scarf. And we're just going to get the scarf and we're going to put it under this piece like that. And we're going to throw it over the shoulder. And then you just want to fix it up how you like it, however it is that you prefer. And then you're just going to get your straight hijab pin and pin that in place or use a safety pin. Whatever you guys are feeling, you can use that. You could use a brooch to make it look more fancy, but it's totally up to you. Now I pinned mine up here so it gives like a bit of a neck exposure, but that's totally up to you. If you don't want that, then all you have to do is just have it tighter like so, throw it over the shoulder and pin it. There you go. It's totally up to you. And if you want more neck coverage, literally just bring the fabric down. Honestly, when it comes to hijab styles, you don't have to do it exactly the way the video shows. You just sort of customize it to however you want. Like, you know, you could do this to cover your chest and have like a bit of over off the shoulder drama happening. Or you could just scoop this up and pin it here and have a little chest coverage. If you want, you could literally just make this really short and tight and just be like, like that. Or if you want, you could do this. Watch out. But yeah, it's honestly all up to you and how you prefer it. Right now, I've been rocking the sort of looser version because I'm wearing a lot of polonets because it is winter. I don't want to freeze to death. So I don't know, for this, I kind of like it. It's, it kind of looks good for me. Anyway, once you've chosen your preferred style of having it over the shoulder and around your neck, just pin that in place and you are pretty much good to go. And there you have it, guys. A really quick and easy beret hijab style. If you guys do want to fancy it up a little bit, all you have to do is add a pair of earrings and then boom, instantly you just look like a million dollars or like a million pounds or wherever you're your from that currency and there you have it guys a really simple and easy beret hijab style it literally took no time at all and it took just one pin I mean if you guys do 
want you can add more pins underneath your hat or even you can pin your hat to your hijab if you want to but honestly because this has elastic it stays on pretty tight and it keeps you really really nice and warm anywho that brings us to the end of the video if you guys have any suggestions for any other hijab shows that you'd like me to do please let me know in the comments below and I will do them for you guys if you guys like more pictures or details to anything you see in this video then be sure to check out my blog which is simachowdy.co.uk it's on the screen right now and also in the description bar down, be down below down below and remember you guys can follow me on social media at Simon Smiles Like for Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, all that fancy jazz. But yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I think that it's gonna be so sad. Anyway, let's do some highlight and then we're gonna come back to the eyes just to finish up the bottom. So to highlight, 